And then they have table topics, which is one of my favorite things. You guys that have been in Toastmasters know about that. Table topics is you get up, you don't know a subject, you come up and you speak for one and a half to two minutes about something that you just heard about. And it's very difficult, it's very challenging, but it's also a lot of fun because then you really push yourself out of the envelope. Because if you're going to do this, you really got to push yourself, try to excel a little bit, try to be a little bit different. Then they have the prepared speeches. The prepared speeches are anywhere from five to seven minutes, seven to ten minutes, whatever it is that you want to do. And you can speak about any topic at all in the world. It's up to you. And they kind of give you some guidance as to what kinds of things you should talk about. What, not the topics, what you should do as far as focusing on, on each speech. And then after that, they'll go into some evaluations as to how the speeches went, and they'll give you some advice as to what you could do to make things more, make your speeches better. Not criticisms, but things that you could do to make things better. One of the key things that they do is um and ah counters, because when we speak, we tend to use the words um, ah, er, so, and, the good filler word, or, these words are okay, and if you use them once in a while in a speech, they're okay. Some people tend to use them all the time when they're speaking. And what you'll find is then that becomes very annoying. And you, when you're listening, you're not listening to their message. You're listening to, oh my God, they've said um a hundred times already in this two minutes. So you want to be aware of these things, which is what's great about going there. They make you aware of these things. So if you're aware of that, then you can get better at that. And so since all of you have come here tonight, I figure that you want to get better at what you're doing. So I figure we'll do a couple table topics, something to get you guys up here. So I'm going to need a couple brave souls. Hey, hey, hey. All right. What is your favorite season and your favorite childhood memory of that season? I love, I love the fall. Fall is my favorite season. I love the, uh, the, the clothes that you wear. I love to uh, wear a hoodie sweatshirt and, and walk around. And I love the fall <clears throat> for, uh, for sports, for outdoor, playing football. And uh, it's definitely nostalgic to me to think about the fall because of the leaves and thinking about playing football in the park with the boys. Um, <coughs> um. <laughs> uh, I also love Halloween. Halloween is great. Um, again. <laughs> <laughs> driving up Route 17 to the throughway. It's a great time of the year to drive up there, so that's definitely one of the reasons why I love the fall so much. I don't want to say um. This <laughs> 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 yeah. like 10 hours already. <laughs> so it feels different up when you're up here thrown in that situation, doesn't it? Yeah. You can prepare something, but when someone ask you to suddenly talk about something. And the purpose of doing those, how often have you been in front of a client and they ask you a question, you have no idea what the answer is. What? You gotta, you gotta think what? about it, right? <laughs> or they may ask you a question about the, your product that you have that you just, you just don't know. Your boss may ask you a question. Someone else may ask you a question. You gotta be able to think on your feet. And we get back to the confidence thing. The more confidence that you have in your abilities, the clearer you're able to think. Because when you're, you're nervous and you're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to say? You're not really thinking well. But when you're confident, you say, all right, I know I'm going to be able to come up with an answer for this. Then it's much easier to be able to think on your feet and say something intelligent, right? Without too many ums and ahs and errs. All right, so we're going to do one more. Any more volunteers for one more? Now, before we do this one, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> before we do this one, Another thing to think about with table topics or even with client meetings is stories. I like to use stories. But if you think about a story that maybe somehow relates to your product, or maybe a sale that you made with another client another time, and you just have these in the back of your mind, you can tend to relate things to stories. Even in table topics, whether you're thinking about a story of something that happened yesterday, something that happened from your youth, you can almost always tie some sort of a story into what you're saying. You can work it in. And it's good because it gives you something to talk about a little bit, it gives you time to think. And it's a great presentation technique because everyone likes to hear about stories. All right? So, with that in mind, you're going to be brave here, right? Now, come on up. Name? Steven. Steven. Okay. 
Steven, what is your favorite Halloween costume as a child? <laughs> we go around the corner, first house I go to. I was so excited to go ring the doorbell, I ran right across the yard and I ran right into a stake in the ground. I ran right into the stake, right in the face, and guess what? I had real blood dripping down my face. So, so I spent that whole corner I'm trying to make a joke out of it as I'm trying not to cry at five years old. Going, I did this purposely. I'm, I'm Dracula. I'm Dracula. I'm something I'm something I'm Dracula. Trying not to cry as my lips getting fatter and fatter and fatter and swollen. But it worked out perfectly because they hit me right in the corner of the face. But that's, that was my best costume. Was uh, <laughs>